This is Radio Sabah calling from Jesselton, North Borneo. Askadas and I'm proud to be part of the largest ethnic indigenous group in Sabah, Malaysia or Borneo. It is my moral obligation to share with you the history and the origin and the legacy of our people so that our new generation can understand that our identity is known by God, given by God. We thank God for this time and season. Hear our story. Tau o kupo o tuhun Hadao kupo o tuang Tau o kuo kadazan Hadao kuo tangaa Hadao kuo tombingon Kah. Potudungo kudo osogit Poigomo kudo osoi Potudungo ku do abakas poi gomo ku do ohika potudungo ku do apandai poi gomo ku do oiho ka inait by akadazan priestess reciting the creation of man kopi bosian or greetings to you all it is my joy and privilege today to be able to present to you my personal research and observation about the origins of an ethnic in the island of Borneo called the ethnic of Kadazan. Now Kadazan is an ethnic group of aborigines of the land below the wind, which is the island of Borneo, which today in my state is commonly known as Sabah. And Borneo Island 
is the third largest island in the world in the South China Sea and the Andaman Sea. It is very, very rich of cultures with thousands of years of tropical jungles and with a lot of aborigines, tribe, ethnics and people who have been uh, visiting the land for uh, hundreds of years and perhaps a thousand of years. I am Bishop Josiah, who is born as a Kadazan from a tribe called the Tanga or Tangara in Sabah. Now, Sabah or Borneo is full of history. And today, I would want to take my opportunity to just present my personal view and research regarding the origins of the ethnic aborigines uh, group called the Kadazan and also the tribe. You know, in Sabah, they are known to be more than um, uh, 30, or even almost 40 kind of local languages, which consists of many, many tribes and under a very big ethnic group and sub-ethnic group. The Kadazan is considered the biggest ethnic group of the tribes and also uh, the aborigines kind of a people. And so, um, first of all, before I present, uh, let me appreciate there are many, many researchers and even our pioneers, Kadazan and intelligent uh, uh, people who have presented their research and even their writings about the history and the origin of the Kadazan. In due respect, we have to respect the opinion and uh, likewise, uh, I hope that you will also respect my opinion. Let me just point here that it is going to be one of my historical archive for my people. And to do that, I just want to introduce myself initially. I came from the tribe called the Tangara or Tanga from the area coast of Penampang, specifically in a village called Kampung Pinapah, Penampang, approximately four kilometers from the township of Donggongon today. But this is the twist of it all. My father, no doubt, is a Kadazan race or tribe of Tanga. The same thing with my mother. Cecilia Binjai is from the Tanga tribe, a Kadazan ethnic. But the twist is that my father, Laudin Manjulim, has a mixture of Chinese blood from our ancestors. One of the famous ancestors in Penampang called the Wong Ah Lung or Wong Lung clan, who hails from the mainland China some hundred of years ago. So we are Kadazan. I can show you in my registration birth certificate that I came from the ethnic group race called the Kadazan. My father is a Kadazan. I am a Kadazan. My mother is a Kadazan. But from the tribe of Pinampang and the area west coast mostly uh, is the tribe of Tanga or Tangara. Okay. Having said that, now let me begin with my observation. And uh, there are many who is asking, where did we came from? Where did we come from? How did the ethnic and the people of Sabah, especially the aborigines, the Kadazan, uh, exist and the rest of other uh, tribes like the Muruch tribe and the the Dusun tribes and the Rumus Momagun tribe and the Liawan and Kuijau and so many many sub ethnic uh, groups and tribes you know with slightly different kind of languages but we coexist because of similarity 
of the of the pronunciation of the language is still there. I remember when I was about late twenties, uh, one of the elder fellow Kadazan asked me. He said, "You are a, a, a man of God. You are a prophet of God, and perhaps you can pray and ask God <laughs> to show and reveal to us the origin of our people, the Kadazan, because many of our so-called priests or Bobohizan." We call it Bobohizan. It is actually uh, a priestess of our traditional uh, tribe. In those days, that uh, they were asked the meaning of Kadazan, and they simply said that they are the people of the land, or the Momogun, we call it, or the Aborigines. That's their explanation. And so we want to know. And how about their languages? About the cultures? About how they have evolved, and so on. So allow me to just present this to you. And firstly, I would like to um, refer one of the most earliest manuscript, a book written by someone who goes by the name of Owen Rutter. He wrote a book and published it in 1928 or 1929. When he was sent by the British under the North Borneo British Company, who acquired a big kind of land from the Suluk Sultan of the Philippines, which is also have the background of uh, under the agreement of the Sultan of Brunei. So this guy who goes by the name of Owen Rutter worked as a district officer. In few district in around uh, uh, Sabah at that time. That is way back before the Second World War, before the Japanese occupation in Borneo and Asia. So he wrote a book titled "Pagans of North Borneo," and uh, I read in page 31. Owen Rutter mentioned the word "kadazan." This is how he said. He said that the Dusun. Usually describes himself generically as a tulun tindal or landsman, or on the west coast, particularly in Papar. Papar is a district. As a kadazan, this is the earliest statement of a district officer, Mr. Owen Orata, a British uh, man who came and worked. In uh, as before the World War, as early as 1910, and, and he managed to publish this book, and he specifically wrote there that this dusun, okay, he took the word dusun, described himself in many part of the district as a dusun, but then especially in Papa, which I believe also in Pinampang, this dusun called themselves, identified themselves as a kadazan. So simply mean the word Kadazan became an ethnic identity. It is. It became a specific noun, not just a common noun, a name, an identity. As a matter of fact, an an ethnic identity. I remember when I was barely ten years old, nine years old. I I, I always listen to the radios, and in those days, there's a section of a radio. Uh, being done by the North Borneo British Company, broadcast a section called Kadazan section. This is Radio Sabah calling from Jesudan, North Borneo.
time there is no so called dusun or rungu section, nothing. It's just a radio and we can hear the Kadazan language, the Kadazan Tanga language, bring broadcast with the local song. That is what I used to hear, especially in the month of May, which is the harvest festival of the people of Kadazan, which is celebrated today as a big event, state level harvest festival. And there are so many, many songs being done by the earlier singers, like the like Dato Justin Stimol, M.Y. Ismail, and so on. So I will not go deeper into that because I'm going to go into the origin of the Kadazan. Where we came from, who we are, are we from the Mongolite DNA tribe? Uh, impossible that this tribe or this ethnic just exists in a big, third largest <laughs> uh, island in the world called Borneo. It just exists like this. Is it that God created? Oh yes, God created. But how did it uh, transform itself through evolution? How did it, it, in, it influence the ethnicity and the tribals and how did they preserve the language called the Kadazan or the Tanga or the Momogun or the Rumus Murut or the Dusun languages. So the word Kadazan being penned down by Owen Rutter, 1928, 1929, it is a very, very early manuscript. The word Kadazan being mentioned where the West Coast and the Papar, especially Tanga tribe, call themselves and identify themselves as a race, a name, as a Kadazan. Well, there's a story, there's a historical fact. Some of our early pioneers, uh, Kadazan says that the word Kadazan came from the basis language of this word. Kakadazan. Let me tell you, Kakadazan means like a, a city side, like a modern day uh, shops, a mall, a shopping mall you call it, modern day. That is a Kadazan um, version or Kadazan explanation when you said I'm going to like the, the town, the town of Donggongon, for example, right? We call it Kakadazan Donggongon. So, some of them took this word Kakadazan as saying that that is why we are called Kadazan because Kadazan people who are modern, who have embraced the township lifestyle and who stay in the shops and in the city and in the town. They become a modern man. They came down from the mountain. They came down from the hut. Those dirty kind of... Uh, uh, of, of people and then they, they came down there they be modernized and they they came to this township called Kakadazan of Pinampang or Kakadazan of Dongongon and that is why they are called themselves Kadazan <laughs> well to some extent because of the similarity of the word Kadazan and Kakadazan you know or township there is some truth in it but I think way back even before the town of Pinampang and Dongongon exist, you can see in 1928-29, Owen Rutter already penned down or read or write in his book saying that the Dusun in the West Coast, especially in Papa, prefer to identify themselves as a Kadazan. You see? So the word Kadazan already exists. It is not really Kakadazan. But there's some truth in it. You know why I say that? Because, you know, when, uh, when some of us, like me, I give an example like me, though I am a Kadazan Tanga, but my great-great-grandfather or grandmother married, remarried with Chinese. And you know, for sure, the Chinese are the one who normally rich, able, and they are the one who make this town. They become the Taukes or the boss, <laughs> they become the one who own the land and build up nice shop slots in the town. And many of them married to a local Kadazans. So children born out of, Kadaz out of this union called Chinese Kadazan or Sino Kadazan, 
So eventually the Kadazan came to the town, become uh, the husband or the wife of the Chinese people. And they began to have a communities in this township, mixture of Chinese and Kadazan. And so they became modern, they become more cleaner, they became more educated. And that is why maybe there is some truth is that the Kadazan dairy from there. Am I right? But that is not the correct, 100% correct information and historical uh, research that I see because, like I said, the people in the West Coast and in Papa address themselves, so, identify their ethnicity as Kadazan. You see? That is what the district officer Owen Rother uh, heard. And he even mentioned about the Dusun, described themselves as Tulun Tindal. Because prior to the coming of uh, Owen Rutter, in the history of our origin of Borneo Island and Sabah was that uh, there is a certain king in Brunei, and we have the Bun Brunei until today, we still have the Sultan. I believe the descendant of the Sultan of Brunei rule some part of the Borneo and expand even to Papar and to Kinabatangan and to many areas. They are the sultan and they are, they, are, they are quite powerful and influence, you see. And we learn from the history that in the end they, they, they had an agreement. They sell a piece of land to the Suluk, sultan of Suluk from the Philippines. And you know the history, the rest of the history from Sultan Suluk. Um, the, the, the Spanish came, the British came, and even one time the American came. You know that? The American came to, to Papar to own a piece of land and establish themselves as governors and so on. So Borneo is rich of history. But then, during the time of Sultan of Brunei, they controlled the mainland. They controlled the road. They controlled the, the rivers. So those people for, who, who want to trade, who want to sell their, their belongings, their goods, the animals, the their, their, the herbs, vegetables, the fruits, whenever they go to the river of Papa, Kinabatangan, or anyway in Sandakan across the road. So these officers of the Sultan is, is the masters. They collect tax from them. You know, they collect tax from them. And for the record, for the administrative record, these Sultan officers address these people who come from the hill, from the mountain. <laughs> to trade and collect the trade, they address them because the Sultan are Malays, Muslim Malay. They call them Orang Dusun. They are the Orang Dusun. So they want to collect the tax from the Orang Dusun. That is the Malay term of this tribe who came down, whether they are the Muruts tribe or the Dusun tribe or the, the Kadazan Tengah or so many tribes, the Tagas tribe and Liawan tribe and all. They just address them as orang dusun. What's the meaning? The meaning of orang dusun is people from the farm, kebun, you know, from the orchard, from the hillside, who, who, who plant rice and fruits and all this kind of thing. They don't care about the tribe, whether you are a tanga tribe or you are a, 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 a rungus or murut, but they just address them as people from the orchard, orang dusun. All right. So this kind of identity has been mentioned by the Sultan of Brunei and officers in collecting the tax. This tax is from the Orang Dusun. <laughs> and then came kings, King the Sultanate of Suluk. And then um, after that, they, they tried to sell a piece of land to, to the, the Spaniard, the Spanish people, and the American, and came the famous so-called the British colony, the British, uh, uh, the North Borneo British Company, all right? And further down that, then when the proposal of, of the Union of the Federation of, of Malaysia, which consists of Sabah, Sarawak, and Singapore, and uh, the Malaya, then there is some sort of issue there in implementing it back. But let, let me just trace this to you. Now, the Kadazan was mentioned even before the onset of the World War II, the Japanese occupation. They're already there. And the ethnic is there. It is a name. It even penned by this guy, Mr. Owen Rutter, as 
the an et ethnic identity kadazan Hee! <laughs> 